If we need to secure the area, if we need to do better, we need international relations. Benefit is not for only Somalia. The benefit it is uh, who is passing the Red Sea Gulf of Aden. These trainings show us the uh, proper way to deal uh, with, the, with the infringement in our uh, region and how to deal with them with the precise law. If I don't know which laws are violated and then what kind of evidence is really necessary to build up that case and win before the court of law, then I'm no use to anybody, right? The Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden is a vital maritime route connecting Europe and Asia, offering significant development potential for its bordering countries. Nevertheless, regional challenges, including instability, conflict, piracy, and transnational crime, pose threats to the opportunities it presents. More than 10% of the global trade is carried out through this corridor, and uh, the capacity of uh, authorities in, in these member states is essential and significant so that the law enforcement agencies become ready to combat the threats. The EU-funded regional program for maritime security in the Red Sea area aims to strengthen maritime law enforcement through coordinated efforts with countries in the region, including Djibouti, Ethiopia, Somalia, Sudan, and Yemen. Under this initiative, the International Criminal Police Organization, Interpol, the International Maritime Organization, IMO, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, and Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, collaborate on four key areas, enhanced maritime law enforcement, port security and safety of navigation, regional maritime domain awareness and dialogue, and finally, enhanced maritime policy environment in the Horn of Africa provided by IGAD. The implementing partners complement each other with their respective specializations, contributing to the entire justice chain. Evidence is a silent witness. Being able to collect all the relevant evidence at the crime scene will help in the prosecuting of the potential suspects. Within the Regional Program for Maritime Security in the Red Sea area, Interpol strengthens maritime law enforcement by providing training courses to law enforcement officials. The focus is on fostering collaboration among national agencies and refining officers' skills in preserving crime scenes and collecting evidence for successful prosecution. This training was an eye-opener for me because it gave me the practical aspect of what's going on on the ground and that helped me when I do my legal drafting works. The International Maritime Organization, IMO, is committed to ensuring the safety of global shipping through a fair regulatory framework that prevents shortcuts compromising safety, security, and environmental standards. IMO is working together with a very engaged network of focal points from the maritime administrations of the participating countries, namely Djibouti, Ethiopia, Somalia, Sudan, and Yemen. And we have developed tailored action plans which are looking at strengthening the legal framework at the national level around maritime security measures, which will form then the basis for effective implementation. This genre of formation permet de mettre à jour les connaissances de la police d'immigration parce que nous affrontons des, 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 des criminels, des malfaiteurs qui, du jour au jour, changent de méthodologie, changent de mentalité. Donc la police, de son côté aussi, doit améliorer ses connaissances et être à jour avec l'évolution de l'environnement dans lequel nous évoluons. The training provided by UNODC under the EU-funded program focuses on regional maritime domain awareness and dialogue, which includes the analysis of data obtained from marine communication sources in the region. Under this initiative, UNODC GMCB is doing in-country capacity uh, building uh, by uh, deploying experts on maritime domain awareness, also in marine communication. The training aims to enhance the capabilities of operators and technicians across agencies, such as port authorities, customs, and the Coast Guard, fostering stronger cooperation. 
We're gaining a lot from the maritime domain awareness training by UNODC under the EU program. The best part is how it brings together the Yemen Coast Guard with the Yemen Port Authority and Customs. The Coast Guard learns from civilians, and civilians in the port learn from the military experience of the Yemen Coast Guard. We are now at Ain Mountain, one of the highest points in Aden for placing communication equipment and VHF repeaters in order to provide a long range of coverage. The EU-funded program is supported with essential equipment to improve interconnectivity among the collaborative countries. For example, UNODC is supplying communication equipment to their operation centers, and Interpol is broadening access to their secure global communications network and databases, also providing necessary toolkits for evidence collection. The Regional Program for Maritime Security in the Red Sea area is also fostering regional cooperation through mutual training and events by bringing together the participating countries across agencies. Now we are in Addis organizing uh, regional activities, bringing together different agencies from uh, Coast Guards, Customs, Port Authorities and Navies into one room discussing uh, the challenges and threats. Due to this information sharing and joint capacity building programs, we all come on board to fight against all types of crimes along the sea in the area. Dans cette formation, on est ici avec nos frères, nos pays frères. Nous avons appris ici que on peut avoir une une bonne relation dans nos territoires maritimes et on peut travailler ensemble pour avoir euh, un très une belle travail en fait. Merci.